Well, good evening, YouTube. Ninja Boots here again. Today, I actually have a little bit of a uh, itch above my nose. Ooh, that feels good. I actually sort of have a topic today. Yeah! What's the topic about? Well, as you may or may not be watching, uh, as of this moment, I don't have too many views anyway, but I just keep pounding these away because you know what? They're fucking fun to do. Oh my god. Uh, it's pretty fun. I get people even ask me when I'm riding around. They like, you know, they'll be like, who are you talking to? And it's like, I'm vlogging. You see, I have a helmet cam and a microphone and I'm just vlogging, you know, riding and talking about sh crazy shenanigans. Uh, but I felt that it's appropriate enough for me to kind of maybe tell you why I got into this in the first place. So I kind of my intro video didn't really do a good enough job of explaining the reasoning for me to do this. To further expand on my ninja vloggery, I am going to tell you a little bit more. Let's step back and look into the world through Ninja Boots' eyes. Earlier this year, uh, it is 2013, um, I would say May. May, I was sitting there uh, getting the bug for motor stickles really wanting one and I found a guy on YouTube I was actually looking for uh, Ninja 300 videos and kind of reviews more of like a test ride little did I know that there were people fucking moto vlogging I had no clue about it at all so I started watching one and I even remember the first one uh, he might not be a well-known person but I still watch his stuff and he was the first one I subscribed to because of it so just a quick thanks to uh, the YouTube user uh, I am Iron Man. Um, he started out on a Ninja 300. Uh, now he has a Hurosung 250. Uh, I'm probably sure. I'm sure I said that wrong. Pronounced it. Mispronounced that. But yeah, he no longer rides a Ninja 250. Or uh, I'm sorry, a Ninja 300. Anyway, he was kind of like the gateway drug to motor vlogging. I started watching a lot of Australian people and I I begin to wonder uh, at that point in time I just thought it was a, a big popular thing with uh, the Aussies um, I got introduced to a couple other guys through I am Iron Man um, uh, a, a writer's life uh, uh, writing with Tom uh, those are the only two I can think off my top of my head oh yeah uh, oh Philly and Sly Sylvia uh, those guys I started watching and I, I watch them fairly exclusive I enjoy their videos um, it was kind of neat and, and it was also kind of cool that uh, they kind of intertwine with each other like they're all in a you know close enough area I, I know that riding with Tom a rider's life and I am Iron Man have crossed paths a few times oh Philly and Sly Sylvia seem to be good friends anyway and they both had Ninja 300s uh, learners I guess for a year and I think now they're uh, Philly's got a uh, Ninja 636 and I think Sly is looking for a Suzuki 750 this is kind of cool uh, I just want to thank those guys because those guys kept me motivated to do it now they weren't the only ones um, like I said those were the Aussies that I got into uh, after I started you know barreling through all their videos because I did I just pow out a weekend out and just watched it all you know, if you ever if you ever get like the motorcycle bug, you know what I'm talking about. You just want everything, everything to do with bikes. You just want to soak it up like a freaking, like a sponge you can never get filled. So you just keep doing it. Uh, so wh what else? I started looking at more. So uh, I branched away from those guys and I started going to the recommended videos and um, started getting introduced to some of the Americans and some of the Europeans. Um, I think shortly after me talking about it, a guy at work actually informed me of Baron Von Grumble. He is from England. A uh, brilliant guy. Uh, I love his videos. The dry humor, I, I really like it. Um, it works. Uh, some of his antics that he does uh, are pretty cool. I can relate. Uh, he seems like an older guy. I'm not saying that's bad, but I'm an older person too. So. Um, it's, it's nice to see that there's something for people like us that can do and have, find enjoyment. You know, I just feel like I'm in that part of, part of time where I don't have a lot of things that I can connect with. I'm just kind of in the middle of things. So it's, it's good to find something like that. 
Um, a couple of the Americans that I started uh, hunting down was, I think the first one I ran into uh, was, uh, was Lori Jennifer. She was the first one I clicked on. Only, uh, what was it? There was a video, something to do with like going to the Indie Moto GP. And I was like, oh, cool. And I was like, this was the closest I've seen that a moto vlogger has been, you know, in my area. I was like, oh, wow. And then I started watching her videos and find, come to find out she's got like 400 some odd videos. I think more than that. She might have like 500, 600. And she's been vlogging since 2008, 2009. I was like, oh, my God. And I just started powwowing. It is today, uh, to this day, I still haven't watched them all. Um, I watch a big portion of them, but... You know, it's a it's tough to try to go back because I got so many I watch subscribe to now. That it's hard for me to go back and look some of these back catalogs and stuff. You know, um, I'll get there eventually. Uh, it gives me something to do when I'm bored, so it's it's no big deal. It's good entertainment. I like it. Yeah, and she started out on a Ninja 250, and uh, she now has a uh, a couple bikes. She's got a six six foot. Oh, excuse me, hiccup burp at the same time. She's got a 650. Uh, cow uh, or 6er 6en or I don't know how you uh, I don't know what it's called I can't, I can't think of it off the top of my head uh, and then she's got a, a I want to say a KLX uh, 250 uh, supermoto which is cool because uh, she's half the reason that my next bike is most likely going to be one uh, and I really want a KLX 250 I mean it's a small bike but I can have Tons of fun on that. I don't need a big ass bike for all that shit. Of course, when I started watching her, they started uh, unloading more videos to the Supermoto people, and I started getting suckered into that. So you can't talk about Supermotos and not talk about Jake the Garden Snake. Oh yeah, he came right up. I think he was the first one I put in, and uh, oh god, he's he's brilliant. He's a he's a good guy. He's a you know he's crazy. Um, I do like his style. I like the whole moto vlog scene to begin with, and the, the supermoto people actually open up a new avenue I didn't even think of, you know, of uh, what stuff to do. And it, it to me that sounds like a perfect freaking match is a, a bike that can go on road to the trails I want to go to, you know. And they're like, fuck, I want to go off road now, so I just freaking go off road. The 300 is great, but it can't go off road very well. <laughs> I'm not gonna say it can't. It's definitely not something you want to do with it. A few other guys too, but uh, for the most part, those people that I mentioned were the ones that more mostly influenced me. They were the ones that I clicked on first. And I'm not saying that I do not subscribe to any other person, because I subscribe to a lot of people, and there's a lot more that I like. But those guys were the first ones, so I want to thank... Uh, I don't know if they'll ever watch this, but if you are watching, I want to thank uh, personally a couple people because, th you know, they really pushed me to do this without even realizing that they affected somebody's life. You affected my life. So, I am Iron Man. I want to thank you for motivating me to become a moto vlogger. Uh, Lori Jennifer, I, I love your style of, uh, of videos. It, whatever you're doing, you're doing great. I love it. I, I would say those two are the ones that really did it more than anybody else. The other guys are brilliant. They're absolutely great. But those two, for some reason, they were just the the, the first step in each direction. So Iron Man, Iron Man was his first taste of moto vlogging. Uh, and Laura Jennifer was the first taste of a, um, you know, a super moto vlogger. And they opened the door for the other ones. So everyone else, thank you too, because uh, you all motivate me to do this. I, I want to become better. I know I'm not the greatest at editing. Uh, I know I'm not the greatest at, you know, articulating my speech a lot of times. But I, I am trying to work on it. And I, I will take constructive criticism uh, as much as it might be painful sometimes. But, you know, that, that's how you learn. That's how you become a, a better person and stuff. You know, I... Uh, in my situation, uh, if I do this long enough, I, I might uh, indulge you guys with some more personal matters of me. But uh, for right now, just know that I'm used to uh, uh, growing a thick skin for some things. This was just a quick shout out video. Why I got into motor vlogging. Uh, did I ever even answer that question? I guess the simplest question is it's fun. 
it's a hobby. It, it gives me something to do and it brings me enjoyment. It gives me an excuse to ride. Um, it's a conversation starter. You know, it makes me feel like I'm I'm a little more social than what I am. I'm a socially awkward person. I don't really flock to social gatherings and go out and do things. I'm more of a experience type person. I, I wanna I wanna do things on my own and so if I build friends through um, mutual uh, activities th then that's the way it's going to be because th that's where I find my enjoyment. Anyway you guys it's time to go. I'll see you guys later and have a great one.